Hello world, welcome to Mbanks Unfiltered, where I talk about almost anything. This video will be politics too. Just a couple of clips of this political bullshit. All right, so here go Elizabeth Warren. Uh, uh, well, first, thank you, uh, Jose, from Jose. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, Elizabeth Warren giving like a super garbage answer. But it's like even before uh, the questioner can get to the question she does like this extra chiming in between it's like hush shut up and wait and then at the end then answer but the answer is 100 percent garbage and pretty much plays into how this is all a tv show circus game bull just bull you know so here we go We'll, we'll wait for the question and then we can get to it, but. Bill. So it's like, well, bitch, change the game. Like, so she pretty much asked, y'all go to certain states first and then go to the black ones or the ones that got more blacks at a certain time. Should that order of operations change? And just, I'm a player. No, it should, the order should change, da 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 da. And you should answer way different than that. But these, all these politicians. So, of course, if you say I'm just bashing her, cool, whatever. But to me, this is for all the motherfuckers. Both sides, damn that party shit, fuck all that. Both sides on that bullshit of order and how they go about where to go get the herd-minded, you know, follow the herd, sheeple uh, believers, mentally handicapped, mentally crippled, uh, you know, just the closed-minded cunts. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's get them real quick, guaranteed, and then we'll go to so-and-so places to kind of get the sheeple blacks on our, uh, the closed-minded blacks uh, <laughs> for our votes. But let me see what else you got to say real quick. But that was perfect right there. How she just pretty much self-admitted to me. Like if, if I was Judge Banks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, you know, open and shut case. You know what I mean? Like this is all bullshit. Like, or if the case was, is the political shit bullshit or not? <laughs> bullshit, you know, but uh, yeah, that just, I'm a player in the game. It's like, boom, there you go. Upon... In the Rothschild, Rockefeller, Jesuit, Reshacrucian, where however y'all want to go, Illuminati, Freemasons, uh, the Cabal, like Deep State, all, all the, it's all of these motherfuckers. Anyway. <laughs> that, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, go and get the fuck up out of here because you didn't give, give a shit on that. <laughs> Thank you, Jose. I needed that. And here's the uh, celebrity in chief or commander in queef, however you want to go about it. Getting a little extra touchy out here with this little munchkin, uh, this little uh, little girl in front. Hey, dog, you, you can get on off me, dog. You, you don't got to. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, man. Hey, man, you going to get up off me, dog. Like, if that was my daughter, nigga, hey, we, I'm talking to this dude after. They're like, hey, whoa, whoa, what you... Uh, so he he that old to he don't know to like where his hand is like with the cameras and your position in this just in the politic political area with the media is all this but you know he in cahoots with the with the evil side of the media that don't keep an uh, an open eye on shit like this to where they can't call that out just in the middle of it. Hey man, that one time he was touching that girl too extra. What was that? And then, of course, his excuse would be so sheepily retarded. Like, well, I just, rah, 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 rah. my hand just goes where it go out. I'm like, no, nah, fuck all that, nigga. If, if there's kids around, I know where my hands need to be and not be even. No, no. Unless he was just, you know, under some, I don't know, some kind of like a super drug that they don't give to us. But the higher ups keep probably like that adrenochrome shit to where this motherfucker just, you know what I'm saying? 
he probably just high or hung over off of some bullshit to where, yeah, he don't know where his arms go and shit. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, that shit just weird how she had to like pull away and shit. I'm like, oh no. And here we go quick, real quick on some alleged, when I said that, adrenochrome. But, uh, you know, Frazzle Drip is the alleged foul name of a snuff film found on Anthony Winter's lab type uh, in Anthony Winter's folder on his laptop filed name life insurance said to you know make even the hardest uh nyc police veterans cry and go throw up and i heard like nine of 12 or i said that i heard there was at least 12 that watched and uh nine of those committed suicide and i'm thinking well these are nyc city cops ny new york city cops and i'm like well i feel like these motherfuckers probably been through so much shit I don't think seeing this would have been like a straw that broke the camel's back and all nine of them to where I think eh, some of them were probably finna go spill the beans and some higher up evil, evil motherfuckers went to go hire some foreign hitmen or, you know, probably in this country, domestic, foreign or domestic hitmen to, uh, you know, head, go ahead and murk them, make it label it a suicide and just kind of cover up the details of what, you know, how, how those suicides came to be. But anyways, my bad. Let me get back to reading. Let me see. Uh, so uh, it is alleged that uh, Wiener's wife, Uma Aberdeen and Killery, <laughs> uh, Cruella Devil, Ursula, built that, huh? performing a satanic ritual abuse on a young girl, surgically removing her face and wearing it as a mask to flood the victim's bloodstream with adrenaline. Uh, blood drink in this state is the elite drug of choice called adrenochrome so this could or couldn't be real but you know politics for me nigga i put anybody hillary bitch hear you bitch boom boom so i go deep when i do politics you know what i'm saying i know y'all like to keep it simple and just vote and uh vote for the voters pretty much and then we'll now fuck all that bitch we going extra deep in this shit fuck that or at least i do uh let me see anything else on this uh so i feel like there's certain symbolism throughout uh there was, you know, Wilson from Castaway, that red face on the ball. I think that's one of the symbolism of this girl's, this this alleged victim's face. Uh, one day, uh, 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 Sean Carter was wearing the shirt, and uh, I think like on the top right or left corner patch, it had that same kind of face. And then Ellen, De, Ellen DeGeneres, who looked like an evil elf gnome bitch, or like a I don't know if y'all seen Thor 2, but she looked like she part of some kind of, I don't know, that bitch looked like a goddamn evil fairy bitch or something. Like her nose, is, I don't know, bitch kind of looked like Nosferatu also, like her and uh, Skip Bayless and shit. But anyways, uh, I think she was doing some kind of dentist, uh, she was in some kind of dentist office for her show, doing some bullshit. But like behind her up on the wall, there was another logo that looked like the same patch or whatever that Sean Carter was wearing on his shirt and the same shit in Castaway and then Tom Hanks, shit, that motherfucker. This motherfucker all of a sudden get a citizenship in Greece. Uh, what was it like a couple years ago? When in 2012, Greece labeled pedophilia as a uh, you know mental disorder. I'm like, well, at least name it as a evil mental disorder. Like put put a little more on that, you know, because there are certain mental disorders that ain't evil. To where if y'all just put that in the mix, or at least Greece, to where then to me, uh, wait, hold on, let me see. Yeah, so if y'all gonna put that on there, at least label it evil. But it, uh, now what I was going to say. Oh, so that makes me think Greece all this time then, even back back when Alexander the Greek and uh, his army general Soter was turning to savior later on, uh, laggy, bitch ass. I'm like, well, damn, these motherfuckers probably been pedophile or most likely. Oh, no, no, ain't no problem. These motherfuckers was. Because, nigga, Eros is Cupid erotic eros so their erotic is a little naked boy get the fuck out of here these motherfuckers but anyways my bad just just a little something extra you know what i'm saying on that because i said a juno chrome i'm like shit let me at least boom here y'all go and so yeah and i feel like uh that movie limitless how this nigga's brain was getting unlocked i feel like something with adrenochrome can do that to a human but I feel like there might be natural shit on this planet that they're hiding from us that can also do that shit. But these soulless evil vampire motherfuckers go this route and, you know what I'm saying, get a whole lot of these celebrities and politicians in this loophole, this blood ritual shit to where they can't snitch. Because if they do, it's going to be like a game of Jenga. All these motherfuckers going to fall, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, 
Just, yeah, I, I go a little deep when it comes to politics. <laughs> It's like, well, I guess I'm a notable exception. I hope, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> but, you know, closed minded sheeple cunts are just or switch the subject real quick to a different president or a different. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Let's clear this bitch ass shit up real quick. It's a punk ass motherfucker. You know, <laughs> they quick to just, you know, what what is that shit? Uh, chaff and redirect. You know what I'm saying? When them goddamn jets and shit. Throw out them flares to keep the missiles off of them and shit. Yeah, I bitch. Mean, yeah, let's let's not talk about how bullshit this motherfucker is. And you know what I'm saying. But hey, sheeple are going to sheepalize, or you know, close minded are going to keep their mind closed, or be a sheep, follow the herd, herd minded motherfuckers. But hey, y'all know these motherfuckers bullshit. Stop, stop all that extra. And here go Mrs. Uh, hot sauce. Yeah, she she ride around with hot sauce. She like she gotta let the Breakfast Club know that she ride with hot sauce so that the dumb closed-minded blacks can be like, oh, she cool, y'all. She ride with hot sauce. <laughs> and then what? Uh, LeBron endorsed her back in 2016. I'm like, well, first of all, this is straight out of high school, nigga. That is a Freemason motherfucker. Like he shows his symbolism before games, especially during the Heat. During the heat years, you know what I'm saying? Especially when I was plugged into the Matrix of the NBA and shit. Now, I can, I can unplug. Sorry, y'all niggas can't or probably still think I'm unplugged in, which is crazy. It's just weird-ass minds stay weird or closed-minded stay closed to where when I say I used to be plugged in or programmed into thinking the NBA was true competitive sport, but now what I know that it's all bullshit, motherfuckers still think I'm in that realm. But anyways, uh... But yeah, like, yeah, LeBron, to me, he probably the best at the team sport of ball and the hoop basketball. Yes, but nigga, that's where that stops. Nigga, I'm not going to fuck with Hillary because you do, nigga. No. <laughs> but, you know, they got to, you know, get they token, token chosen fraud ass entertainers to help back these motherfuckers. I'm like, ah, oh, nah, but here we go. Mrs. Uh, hot sauce. Okay, remember that. Hold on. Now, first off, I know y'all see Trump War Room. Nigga, I don't fuck with Trump like that either because he a Freemason too. This is really just York right versus Scottish right because, you know, Trump is York, a uh, New York ass nigga and shit. And, you know, his mayor, Giuliani, you know, New York ass motherfucking shit. And then uh, Biden and them, nigga, this is Scottish right to me because, you know, Scottish is foreign, at least to America, and how Biden, you know, got love for the Chinese motherfuckers. Allowing this border bullshit to go out of control and shit. Um, let me see. Oh, and then, you know, Afghanistan and shit. You know, allowing the Taliban to take that shit over to where, yeah, this motherfucker, this Scottish right versus York right. But anyways, mind that shit. Uh, Kathy O'Brien, you know, what she had just said, uh, post tweeted, uh, Hillary has personally silenced my voice for decades. My testimony in transformation of America Details her sexual assault of me, her trafficking, my daughter and me across our borders, drug running, perching for deep state, new world order, trauma based, MK Ultra, mind control and more. But, you know, this bitch is going to talk about uh, Hillary going to talk about uh, uh, we with you and all this. But, but, but then when Kathy O'Brien tweet about this bitch, it's like, bitch, you out here contradicting yourself, your blood sacrifice, your blood ritual, vampire, Cruella devil cunt. And it's like, I love me a good self-admitting motherfucker, but here we go. Like a motherfucker, man. It's like the vote flukery kept getting more and more throughout. To me, since the start of voting all the way till now, they kept on tweaking it and making it more rig fixed and rig rig fixed scripted more and more to where this most 
this last, it feels like every single one is going to be more and more fluky bullshit, you know what I'm saying, to where this most recent one, I'm like, oh yeah, nigga, there, there's too much out there in these streets <laughs> of showing that, yeah, there was some bullshit going on with these goddamn, with the votes, like, no, it's too much. So here we go with this, this computer programmer tells how, you know, you can fluke these goddamn votes and shit. But the closed minded, y'all go, y'all, y'all leave. Open minded people that are just interested in shit and like to keep their mind evolving instead of revolving. Here, here go a little something, Wait, hold on. Now, to me, it don't matter what year, because for me, time all runs the same. And time is some people use time as like some bullshit. So then for him or for him, he did this. He showed how to fluke stuff in 2000. So some sheeple or closed minded motherfuckers would be all like, well, man, that was way back then. Times is never different. Never, never, all this bullshit. And I'm like, no, nigga. To me, if they were able to fluke shit then, then they able to really easily or more technologically, I wouldn't say easy or more, you know, but being able to rig, fix, script these elections even more now, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, dog, bullshit. But let me back up a little bit because I heard a dude was asking a question while I paused. But I had to throw that out real quick because I hate when people be like, when they hear a, t- a date of something and be like, oh, well, that was that, 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 And then they just go on this dumbass rant of bullshit just because of how they deal with time or what time means to them to where for me time all runs the same to where that shit don't get with me so you gonna have to give me some more defenses or devil's advocating when it comes to shit like time motherfucker. but anyways <laughs> oh shit Boom. But hey, no, but uh, you know, the people that think the elections are real, because, you know, I'm sure if not in the comment section, just in their mind, because some people I feel like they ain't confident enough to go ahead and spill their beans because they're going to do some say some stuff to where I would end up saying that's exactly what somebody mentally crippled would say or that's exactly what somebody mentally handicapped would say. But uh, I'm just like, dog, that alone should open up your mind at least. But people are just so emotionally attached to certain shit, just like how I'll be breaking down how these sports entertainment leagues are bullshit. They'll, they'll, they'll still just have this kind of bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, th- there's that. <laughs> and look, a little more razzle dazzle on this uh, bull jive. Uh, let me see. So shout out to squirrel underscore hockey dot 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 whatever the fuck else
Oh, and then see, one of the things is when I talk about voter fraud, I think people be thinking I'm auto Trump and da 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 da. I'm like, no, I'm just showing y'all it's bullshit. So this is in 2006. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's bull. Like, <laughs> and then with this mail in voting in this recent election, and then that whole. Dog, like I stayed up the whole night throughout that election. I'm watching this shit like it's a goddamn Super Bowl or, you know, just an important thing so I can take notes and like how Arizona called their shit real quick and then how other states had trouble counting by ones and shit. I'm like, come on, y'all. Like, yo. So we just all dumb then. Or at least, well, what? Like just, hey man, it just happened, 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 happened. Like I don't even know what a, a closed minded motherfucker excuse would be, especially when I put all this out in this way. I'm like, what, 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 how? Like, how was everything just normal and regular? Like, shut the fuck up. Like, Biden, if anything, should have been like, wait, hold on, y'all. I know the numbers say, but let's all do a recount real quick. Let's get this out just to make sure that I won clear and good. No, no, but no, nah, he, no, nah, I won. That's it. No, I won. I won. I, I, yeah. I, I outdid Obama and every, every, every president ever. Nigga, I'm the number one president of all time. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, so... Like, if JFK showed up, you know what I'm saying? Or just, you know, hypothetically, you know what I'm saying? Let's try to open mind different thing. I'm like, if Biden and JFK did a head-to-head, you know what I'm saying, and Biden outdid him and all that shit, y'all would just think, oh, well, Biden, no, motherfucker, JFK would have said some shit that'll fuck his ass up, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Built. And see, my thing is also, it's like, what were you doing in 2006? Because me, I wouldn't give a fuck, nigga. D-Wade and these niggas didn't win the championship. So, nigga, I'm not even, I'm programmed into some entertainment bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, dang, I wonder if my mind was reversed and I was more focused on shit like this instead of ball in a hoop. <laughs> How my perspective on all this shit would be and the shit I probably would have put out on my social medias leading up to shit today, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, to where then I'm like, nigga, what was you doing in 06 then? And since you just, nah, man, go ahead and vote that. Nah, you was on some dumb shit too. Shut up. <laughs> Let me see. I don't even remember what this one is. I'm just let this one play real quick. Well, look at that. But hey, no, y'all trust Venezuela, right? Just these other, okay, yeah, because y'all know about Venezuela and they're, you know, they're they're not a, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too bad with them, huh? Just, I don't know if it like they can have personal interest that is more in a fuck America type of shit, but hey, maybe not. Okay, so first off, man, let me get right at this uh, tweet down here. You are the worst and can catch these gay hands. Like, what the? They don't even. What the hell? Like, that. What? But, anyways, uh, Tosi Gabbard to me is the only Democrat worth a damn, probably of all time. Because when I do the Democratic history, I'm like, oh, yeah, fuck all y'all. At least Tosi Gabbard, you know, served the country. And then as she served it, uh, she was in the medical department helping wounded other country servers. You know what I'm saying? And she spoke up on religious bigotry. That, that's one of the main things where a lot of. 
people in religious bubbles get all and they get in all and he's weird. And I'm like, oh, you saying that because you're in the religious bubble. And I feel I hate that people that have a certain amount of education and intelligence, they'll try to use, uh, you know, break down their religion to me in a certain way. And I'm like, dog, I, already, I heard that like in 2011, dog. I'm, I'm sorry. Dog. I'm, I'm above. I'm outside the religious bubble. And I know there's so many different ways. uh kind of smart, kind of intelligent, kind of educated people come, but I'm like, I'm outside the bubble. So there's nothing a human can do to pull me into, oh, I'm in the religious bubble now, and this is the religion. I'm like, dog, there's so many divisions in the religion to where when she spoke, when Tozi Gabbard spoke up on religious bigotry, I'm like, ooh, I like. And then, uh, so let me see, uh, a warrior military uh, lady, you know what I'm saying, uh, spoke up on religious bigotry, uh, and then let me see. And, and then the way she body bagged uh, Kamala Harris in those debates, I'm like, oh, yeah, she should have been the vice president right now. But the thing is, I feel like she would have been that type of vice president to be like, you know, whispering in Joe Biden's ear. Hey, you know, you a bitch ass motherfucker, though. You know what I'm saying? And she probably would have been doing her solo shit. Like, hey, the president is a punk ass motherfucker. He on that bullshit and da 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 You know what I'm saying? To where they had to get her out the race quick because I'm like, oh, shit, nigga, damn, that. I kind of noticed something different with that Democrat out of all y'all other demoncrats, you know, demonic rulership. Chrissy means rule. Demo comes from demon. Sorry, I didn't make these words. Y'all didn't research the words to where y'all probably got some bullshit ass teachers that, well, what about all the other words with demo? Like demolish and nigga, steal the origin of demo comes from demon. Sorry. Uh, I guess as a rapper, I look at words extra, extra different now, too, to where y'all like the ABC simple dumbass rappers and shit. But face that motherfucker. But anyways, <laughs> you know, this is pretty much just breaking this down on these humans that were born a boy that play in women's sports. And I remember watching one of a girl, uh, a track star girl talking about all what all she did. But. Uh, and all the hard work it took for for her to get to where she was, to where she can get like scholarship offers as a senior, but then boom, in come these humans that were born as men and just blow out the competition to where boom, no scholarship chances, no da 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 da, and all that to where she's like, well, I got third, but I would have got first if these two uh, humans that were born as boys uh, were in their own, I don't know, I, I don't know, just in their own realm to where I'm like. I want to see like women uh, that feel like men go to the NBA or go into males MMA and boxing because there's a dude or, or not a dude, a human born as a male. Uh, I think it's Fallon Fox that is in a MMA and females MMA crushing these girls' skulls. And I'm like, well, if my girl is in, if I had a daughter, you know what I'm saying, and if she was in combat sports. And a person born as a male is fighting her. One, we're not fighting. You know what I'm saying? And two, I'd be mad if motherfucker got away with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I had an undefeated on a way to be champ and then get knocked off by a person that wasn't born female, I'm going to feel some type of way. So shit like this, you can get these gay hands. Like, what the? Nobody's talking about gay, first of all. <laughs> we're talking about what, you know, to me, what the creator, biology, genetics, DNA, has you come out your mom ass, you know, first, first and foremost. So whatever you feel psychologically, to me, that's like a secondary means. But primarily what the creator made you come out your mom ass, when you compete in certain shit, I feel like you meant to compete in what you came out as your mom ass. Not psychologically, I feel like this. So I'm going to be in this sport because to me, I just see more of men or like that tennis, that tennis player. I think there was a tennis player or is or was whatever that's just dominating women's that was born as a man and i'm just like nah dog i i, I want to see that and well show me the examples of the nba an nba player or a, a mma fighter or a boxer that was born a female and is in male sports because no you finna get crushed sorry so to me this this makes sense but it just sucks that you know biden and kamala ain't you know, talking about this on that level and just all the other shit that they ain't been talking about. But yeah, just a little extra razzle dazzle in these streets. You know what I'm saying? And then what is this down here? Let me see this other one. As a transgender, what? what? Uh, that was spelled wrong. My heart is breaking. Like, why and what? What are you? One, you got a little cartoon character. Man, y'all, y'all gonna like see stuff like this. I'm like, well, what is. 
you like okay well then this trend uh, I don't know like, it, it just hey, that's just one of them things but I'm like hey shout out to Tosi Gabby yeah, oh and then she's in my uh, I think in my second I forgot it's either in my first or second celeb celebrity stuff she's in on my uh hottie list you know what I'm saying cause that's the other thing she looked good too I'm like dang look she exposed Kamala for being a cunt uh, she looked good she defended a country uh, or defended this country and spoke upon religious bigotry. Nah, y'all got me fucked up, nigga. Now, this one I can see. Now, show me another Democratic so-and-so that you can, you know, put some ducks in a row. Because I'm like, nah, Tulsi, Tulsi that motherfucker, man. <laughs> Did I pause a moment? Bitch, pause. My bad, I be getting my little curse on. First of all, let me do, let me see this uh, tweet real quick. Because I'll be looking at the tweet from, you know, Snowden, but I'll be like, well, let me see the first. But this was just weird, like, one CIA, always CIA. So I'm like, oh, okay, I guess Snowden is, uh, or at least the end of that tweet. But yeah, y'all can just read that for that. Like, why are you there? Why are you so-and-so? It's like, eh. uh, oh, well, sh- maybe Edwin Snowden is, uh, uh, a uh, being, uh, uh, I mean, a, a fake, a fake, uh, whistleblower, I guess. I, I don't know. He just seemed like, I don't know, man, the, the way he been moving. I'm like, I don't know. I think Edwin might be really exposing these motherfuckers. But anyway, when a crooked, Politician calls me a traitor. Ask yourself, who did I betray? The courts have ruled repeatedly that the programs I revealed are unlawful and likely unconstitutional, a violation of your rights. If this is treason, what do they, what they call loyalty is a crime. And I'm just like, if a, if any politician, you know what I'm saying, is on that bullshit, I'm just like, the politicians to me are probably worse than the people that they try to get locked up or just way worse than some of these people that do, like, to me, survival crimes and stuff like that. I'm like, dog, these politics. And then politician, dog, like, like, politic, like, poly means many. Tick means blood-sucking creature. So that fits a Hillary perfect, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I don't know, that shit just trip you out right there. I'm like, oh, shit, he fucking y'all up. But then, you know, there's always a motherfucker like this. Who is this? Uh, one, using a bullshit ass, um... Uh, thumbnail or display photo and then like capital J capital A like man get the fuck on man y'all going on that bullshit get, 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 be an authentic motherfucker out here in these streets man y'all motherfucker. but hey that is always good to keep in mind though one CIA always CIA which I'm like so when Edwin Snowden was with the CIA they probably put certain tabs on him to where he probably they probably still got shit on him that he just don't even know or they probably invading his privacy in a certain way that he don't even know, or they all still in cahoots and they just using him as like the, you know, little pawn to make it seem like he's the rogue CIA bean spiller, man. So like, I'm always open-minded with that, but I'm still just like, I don't know. It's just the way, the way he talk and the way the CIA be saying like, come on back to America, come on back to America. And the way he like, okay, I will if I can get a fair trial, you know, just a regular, fair, decent trial to within America or the CIA or whoever, they be like, uh, uh, and they, you know, they just start fumbling and brumbling. I'm like, oh, he can't get a fair trial, huh? We, we can go to trial. It just can't be a fair one. Bill Thighs, mom. All right, this is just a little rascal dazzle on the immigration stuff. Um, they're going to be showing, like, Trump's face in between. But, again, I, I ain't with Trump either. But this is just to show y'all the Democratic Party is on some bullshit because it's going to have Bill Clinton – in uh, Bahama or kill Clinton, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, Bill, Bill, kill and killery, both of these motherfuckers, though, they got like a like motherfuckers end up dead and missing and shit. So they got like a kill list. I think there's like a website or like a one of them heavy uh interneters out there that have that like break this shit down to a T. Ooh, and I'm like, damn, nigga, that shit crazy as fuck to where. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm as scared as deaf as I used to be, but I'm just like, damn, that shit crazy how some of these deaf just be seem orchestrated. But anyways, uh, now I know a lot of closed minded cunts are gonna be thinking I'm Trumpy because of how this video gonna be having them in there. But like, fuck all the Trump looks. Just look at how what these Democrats are saying, and I'm just like, dog, these motherfuckers bullshit because we got a Democrat as president now and this border crisis is tripping me out like a motherfucker but here we go wait a minute okay
Oh, rinse, sack, or repeat ass, unoriginal, cunty ass motherfuckers. And then see the thing with Obama and Kamala. You get your lineage from your mom. Yeah. Uh, when it come to blacks, yeah. When it come to the dad, if if the dad is one and the mom is a different color, yeah, you get your phenotype or whatever from your dad. But that whole you are what your dad is to me, that's disrespect heavy uh, to the mom. Because I'm like, well, nigga, you and your mom are one with the umbilical cord. Uh, let me see. Uh, your mom's nipples or female nipples are made for child nourishment. What's your daddy's nipples made for? Boom, there's that. And uh, and yeah, I just think with you being in your mom more all those nine to, you know, however many months, uh, it, you and I don't know. I just feel like you're more your mom. So with Bahama and Kamala's moms being non-black and their dads being black, I feel like y'all, are, they're kind of black. But I hate when they just label full black. I'm like, uh, nigga, no, wrong wrong <laughs> it's just so many motherfuckers masonically mk ultra program to where you were with your daddy they, they black 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 and i'm like nigga they don't and then their blackness their dads you know one jamaica one kenyan i'm like dog they don't have no american upbringing to understand the bullshit of growing up as an american in this country so if they're gonna be in politics i at least wish their black side would have went through you know being black in america bullshit because you know everybody got their ethnicity color uh, growing up in America bullshit, but I'm just saying, like, I hate when people just get programmed into Bahama and Kamala's half non-African American black side, and I'm like, and these niggas went to high school in Canada where I feel like, well, since they went to get super programmed in a foreign school and then come back, I'm like, dog, they're ultimate puppets on the string to me, but hey, y'all can do what y'all want. I'm like These niggas took acting classes and say the shit to make y'all feel good, but anyways, build build <laughs> oh man that shit is just no that shit is like picture perfect for me of how these motherfuckers are all fraud ass motherfuckers but I'm like, Bill didn't say that shit. Bahama didn't say that shit. Biden ain't said really much shit on the... <laughs> and it's like, Biden, do a copy and paste uh, version of what Bill and Obama said real quick. Like, just say it at least so that how the border keep continuing to be a crisis right now or at least well, have you reached this? This is, uh, you know, 2021, you know what I'm saying? But anyways... Uh, just so then even the people can be like, well, you're saying it, Biden, but uh, there's still a crisis at the border. But, you know, they make sure to keep this motherfucker mouth closed and muzzled and give him cue cards on what to say and shit. OK, so I don't know who this dude is with the uncle and stuff, but hey, shout out to you or whatever. But here we go for the uh, holy bookers. So, yeah, Revelation 17, 14, you know what I'm saying? And a woman dressed in purple <laughs> and scarlet and adorned with a gold precious stones and pearls holding her hand. A golden cup filled of abominations and filthiness of whoring. 
And uh, Kamala was cool with admitting that she slept her way to the top and shit. And uh, when uh, they took like that sworn in oath and shit, nigga, there was two books. Nigga, I wonder what that other book was. Like, was that the Bible by Gita or some shit? Or what's that other book, bitch? You know what I mean? Just, just for my, uh, you know, independent research as an interested observer. You know what I'm saying? I just I always wanted that. Like her and uh, Biden, they, it was like two books. I'm like, what the, wait, what? What's that other? Wait, huh? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Fuck around be a Alistair Crowley, Albert Pike bullshit ass book or some shit. Then here we got the Circle Backmaster. And I'm telling you, Doug, the way I would have would be like, because I always wanted to be like a journalist, you know, or a news reporter or something like that. But it's like I had to be going at these motherfuckers so hard. They would have to be circling back like a, But I feel like they would be saying that's a good question. See, my problem, uh, some of the problems with these closed minded motherfuckers is good questions really fuck them up to where they don't answer it. They bring up something else. They go left field. They do all this other. I'm like. Back to the question, face that. <laughs> but it just go to, you know, the parenting, you know what I'm saying? And then just the programming that these people ain't good at answering questions sometimes. And they got to deter or just make up some bullshit. But I'm like, man, get y'all circling back ass and all that bad yet. And y'all know this is true. I know a, little, a lot of people don't like Judge Joe Brown. You need to man up. Nah. <laughs> But ain't, ain't nothing tripping on this, though, because in 2016, Russia, 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 you know what I'm saying? But then in 2021, you know what I'm saying, when they say that 2021 is suspect, oh, censored, uh, electronic, uh, uh, economically, and, and made by the Masonic mainstream media. But I'm like, yeah, see, when when Trump won, I'm sure there was a lot of motherfuckers, hey, man, it's bullshit. I'm like, I'm sure it was bullshit. But to me, that whole 2016 one came down to grabbing by the pussy and 33 uh, emails getting deleted and then acid washed or extra extra deleted to where I'm like well damn something in those emails probably was way worse than grabbing by the veggie coast coast you know what I'm saying but I'm like it's still fluke Doug like these Rothschilds and Rockefellers are determining all these elections and using any means necessary such as Venezuelan foreign smartmatic voting machines but hey people going so it was Russia on that side but not Venezuela on this side what if it was Evil motherfuckers all in cahoots on all sides, you stupid motherfuckers. But hey, it is what it be. Oh, this was a decent tweet. Very good point, Judge, rather than some stupid ass hater, which I'm sure if I go some more. Oh, no, 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 no. They're going, nah, damn it. It's going to be some sheeple ass dumb shit. So let me just chill with that comment. <laughs> uh, so what y'all think of this? Uh, Dr. Rachel Levi, <laughs> U.S. Assistant Secretary for Health, believes that all children should be allowed to select their ginger. <laughs> gender <laughs> and have access to government funded funded sex reassignment surgery without parental notification or authorization so eh, well one we need a different doctor to me and uh children should be allowed to select their gender oh i thought i thought the creator or most divine or you know universal consciousness above us does that when you come out the womb of a woman but hey that ain't i'm just like dog, <laughs> dog <I> <laughs> this this is like this is like such a major circus show like this doctor <laughs> air quotes doctor is uh you know what i'm saying going over my parental notification and other is but you got me fucked up you know what i'm saying I guess just as a parent, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, some people are just in this mental form of accepting every, or accepting things that they shouldn't even really accept. But I'm like, hey, I guess do you, but what y'all think of this? Hey, Larry Sanger been working in the game since I've been uh, following him uh, about, probably about a year. But uh, in a lawsuit, the state of Pennsylvania has forced to remove 21K dead voters from voter poll because the state had to be forced, of course. <laughs> but yeah, y'all go click on that and do a little research what y'all think on that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, oh yeah, shit. 
There been some registered dead votings in these motherfuckers. All right, well, thank y'all for staying for as long as y'all did, if y'all did. I know some minds and some uh, people that probably would see this link or whatever probably crapped out a whole lot earlier, you know, probably 30 seconds in because they minds are just, you know, in the sports entertainment leagues or just more attracted to certain styles. But I'm just like, dog, I'm just going to talk. So if my voice is sleepy for you, then you probably a sleepy sheeple counting sheep ass motherfucker anyway. But I'm just putting shit out there to open your mind up or have you research and come back at me and say, well, da 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 You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what I'm super open for, too. But, yeah, just a little rise of on politics. Let me see. And a good little 46, 47 minutes and shit. Damn. Well, sometimes, you know, it, time flies when you're having fun. And this is just, just fun as fuck to me. So I'm just like, hey. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I started to get into politics. I want to say shit, March 2020. So, and, and what I, the way I've been always different minded, different thinking of many different things from video games to sports to the military to insane asylums to oil field bullshit. Like, there's a lot of different avenues I've dibbled and dabbled into to where I don't know. I feel like the creator put me in certain positions. To where I can observe shit way different than a lot of these, I don't know, a lot of these program motherfuckers. So I'm like, yeah, nigga, this is this is me in politics. So, bitch, if y'all want to go toe to toe, cool. But if you're in a party, yeesh, yeesh. I feel like I already got some shit for your ass on, on auto automatic mini gun style, nigga. Like easy. So as much as I bash the Democratic Party, oh no, Republicans can get it too, nigga. I'm the can man, like AB. Nigga, anybody can get it, you know what I'm saying? But uh. But yeah, just a little razzle dazzle on politics. Politics too. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. Y'all be cool. Keep your stress low. Don't be scared of nothing. Be prepared for everything. Peace.